Cuba, Nepal, Africa, Latin America, Ukraine exposes foreign mercenaries fighting for Russia. The Russian mobilization resource is depleting, so the aggressor country is increasingly recruiting foreigners for the war against Ukraine. In Ukrainian captivity, there are representatives from Cuba, Nepal, African countries and Latin America, according to a statement from a representative of the coordinating headquarters for the treatment of prisoners of war, Petro Yatsenko. According to Yatsenko, after significant losses, fewer and fewer Russians are willing to serve under contract, including among the prisoners. Therefore, Russia has intensified recruitment among foreigners from low-income countries. At the Media Center Ukraine, a briefing was held with the participation of captured mercenaries who shared their stories of how they ended up on the front lines. They were thrown in like cannon fodder because they weren't trained. Some of them were deceived, meaning they were promised one thing, but in reality, it turned out to be completely different, Yatsenko said. He noted that these individuals could be prosecuted in Ukraine for mercenary activities because it is illegal. However, there have been no such trials yet, so foreigners remain in custody as prisoners of war. At the same time, Russia does not want to include these citizens in exchange lists because they are not needed. Representatives of the coordination headquarters have called on the government of foreign countries to take more effective measures to prevent their citizens from being deceived by Russian recruiters to preserve their health and to prevent their deaths. Earlier, Reuters reported that India had appealed to Russia for the early release of some of its citizens working in the Russian army in support jobs. India's Ministry of External Affairs made the statement after a local newspaper reported that last year around 100 Indians were hired on contracts for at least one year. On March the 1st, the National Resistance Center reported that locals in the temporarily occupied territory observed the arrival of more Kremlin mercenaries. Specifically, invaders were bringing in fighters from Cuba and Nepal. Я прям как чувствовала, что это рядом. Вас Мужики, пизда вообще, гля, ебать! Это бак течет! Тут пиздец, я, блядь, еле ушел с под удара, нахуй! Вот, блядь, туда, вон, в ебало! Смотрите, на педколледже, нахуй! Уебало, блядь! Этого, блядь, волною, нахуй, сюда, вот сзади, вот, у 48-го, блядь! Я, блядь, его еле обвильнул, нахуй! И сюда, вправо, блядь! Пизда вообще, мужики, блядь. Я подохуел. А тут пиздец. Я с этого еле ушел, блядь, от этой машины, блядь. А тут люди, пиздец. Ебать, мужики, пиздец. Тихо. Блядь. Ля собрал, нахуй. Смотри, Тут собрал, пиздец. Смотри, ебать. Блять, надо идти автобус убирать. И пануться. In the morning of March 14th, the Graveroy district of the Belgorod region of Russia opened fire from the territory of Ukraine. The Russian press reported on this. It is said that one of the shells fell into the forensic examination building. The population was warned to go to shelters. The governor of Belgorod region, Vyacheslav Gladkov, said that one person was injured as a result of the shooting. 
He also said that three cars were damaged and several houses were damaged. A warning was issued about the missile safety in the Belgorod area. It should be noted that on March 13, the Free Russian Legion, the Russian Volunteer Corps, and the Siberian Battalion, which are part of the Ukrainian army, warned that they would again enter the territory of Belgorod in Kursk and conduct an operation. They demanded the provincial administration to evacuate the local population.